Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you an extremely potent high growth oil that you can certainly incorporate into your hair regimen. Now, if you have suffered from hair loss or perhaps you're simply looking just to grow longer, healthier and thicker hair, this is the oil that you definitely need to consider incorporating into your hair regimen. Because it's fully packed with vitamins, antioxidants, basically all of the goodness that our hair needs in order to grow. So I'll definitely suggest that you watch this video and you watch till the end so you don't miss out on any important information. Now the first ingredient we're going to need for this recipe will be some carrots. Now I'm using one big carrot here guys. Carrot is actually good because it contains something called beta carotene which actually, which actually helps you know keep our hair soft and shiny. It also contains vitamin A and E which help to stimulate hair growth and make our roots stronger. Now I decided to just grate the carrots here guys because I wanted to uh, easily get you know the nutrients from it um, but you can actually blend this as well if you want to um, so yeah just pop that in a bowl and then we're gonna go in with our next ingredient which will be some aloe vera now you guys know I talk about aloe vera so much in my videos like it's just because it's just so good like I've ripped so much benefits from using aloe vera uh, on my hair over the years and I don't think I'll ever go back really but yeah aloe vera is definitely good for hair growth guys because it contains vitamin A, C and E and these are known to contribute to cell turnover promoting healthier cell growth and shiny hair it also has vitamin B12 and folic acid which are actually known to keep our hair from falling out um, so I decided to just use a small portion of aloe vera here, but you can use more if you want to just cut it into um, You know smaller pieces just like I'm doing here after you washed it and then put it in the same bowl that you've put in the carrots Now we're going to go in with our next ingredient, which will be some olive oil I will be using extra virgin olive oil here, but you can use coconut oil shea butter um, basically any kind of oil that you've got available that can resist heat pretty much okay um but if you are to use olive oil like i am i suggest you do use the extra virgin one because it still contains all of the nutrients that you need um in it compared to like the one that has been refined so i use one cup of olive oil here again you can use more or less depending on how much oil you're trying to make but one cup was enough for this quantity of the other ingredients that I have. So you pop that in there guys and just stir it just to allow all of it to mix to mix well. Now the next ingredient we'll be going in with will be some Moringa powder. Now Moringa has amazing benefits not only for our hair but for our general health as well. It's packed with antioxidants, vitamins that are certainly known to help promote healthier um, cell, uh, healthier hair and also um, good for our general health like I said it contains a compound called zinc which is actually known to stimulate hair growth and actually helps with hair regrowth as well so if you did suffer hair loss this is definitely one thing that you need to consider having in you know the oil that you're using perhaps to try and regrow your hair now studies have actually found that zinc deficiency is actually directly linked to hair, to hair loss and hair thinning um, and that's why you know some women after giving birth suffer from postnatal shedding um, and actually a study also did find that you know um, to reduce perhaps the impact of you know postnatal shedding after birth you can actually uh, just increase the amount of zinc in your diet pretty much so yeah moringa is just great it's just it's just amazing it's a really good superfood for our hair and also for our general health so I added about a quarter cup here not really like basically you can see the quantities okay it wasn't really that much but it was still a good good amount for this recipe so pop that all in stir it and then you want to put place the bowl uh, in a bowl uh, in a pot sorry of hot water and let it simmer for a few minutes um, now you know this is done when the aloe vera has turned from bright green to like you know dark green um, that's what, that's when you know it's actually ready so take that off the fire allow it to cool down and then we're gonna go ahead now and strain this um, now to strain it I'm actually using an actual sieve um, but you can use use like a 
a tea towel or I, I, I'm not too sure if a stocking cap can do this well because of the moringa powder in it and the carrots so I had to see it quite a few times just like you will find out you know as the video progresses just to prevent you know the powder from you know um getting into the oil pretty much but that's kind of what you end up with like a really rich green colored oil which i tell you guys it's just yeah it's just amazing um for your hair you special and she reckless Remember you're my bestest friend yeah she my bestie my love for you is endless nobody else can end it and when i get the money back then baby girl you can spend it oh. So at this point I actually realized that I still had some residue at the bottom of my oil so I just decided to just use another bowl and transfer the oil into it so that the residue can sit at the bottom. Now I'm not going to get rid of this guys, I'm going to use a paper towel just to get the oil out of that pretty much. I found that a paper towel from the kitchen was actually really really efficient at doing this. Now if you are to do it this way just make sure that your paper towel is really strong and really absorbent because there's some that are just really um, fragile and you know don't really absorb as much water and also you just want to be gentle as you're squeezing it so that the paper doesn't rip because at the end of the day it's still paper um, but yeah basically just be um, kind of gentle as you're doing it just to prevent it from ripping um, so yeah Now I'm going to go in with my essential oils. I use tea tree essential oil here and peppermint essential oil. Now I choose these ones because of the amazing benefits. But again, you can use any other essential oils that you want. Now these two essential oils are actually known to increase the circulation or sort of improve the blood circulation around the scalp. And also uh, they're also high in, in vitamins that are certainly known to help promote healthier hair. Now I don't know exactly how many drops I've added here guys because these oils, the way they come out is just, I don't know. But go ahead and add as much as you want. Now the next thing that I'm going to use, which is really a final thing, would be some vitamin E. Now I'm using the capsules here guys because this is the one that I actually take uh, internally. You can take this internally as well. Um, I added about six of it I think. It's just to preserve the oil and also to allow me to use it for a longer period of time so I don't have to uh, keep on making it pretty much. So, um, but you can actually get the actual vitamin E oil directly and just pop, and just pop that in if you've got it. Um, but if you don't have it, that's fine. Don't worry about this part. Just, just skip it completely. So after you've added all of that in, guys, you just want to stir it just to allow, you know, everything to combine together well. Not combine, kind of like mix well. And then we're going to transfer this to our mixing jar so that's easier to store and then we can um, basically use it from there pretty much. So yeah, just, just pop that in. Special and she reckless. Remember you're my bestest friend. Yeah, she my bestie. My love for you is endless. Nobody else can end it. And when I get the money back, then baby girl, you can spend it. So this is basically my hair growth oil, guys. It's ready to be applied. It looks really good. Nice, rich green color, full of nutrients and vitamins that, yeah, our hair definitely needs in order to grow. I just thought I would put this little clip in here just to show you how I apply this to my hair, guys. Um, I'm applying here just to leave in conditioner. Don't worry, I've made a video about this, so you will get to see it. So apply any leave-in conditioner that you got or maybe water as well. If you don't have an actual leave-in conditioner, it's fine. Water is also a great moisturizer. So apply that and then take your oil and then apply that to the rest of your hair and also on your scalp. Now it's important that you massage this to your, this to your scalp guys because our uh, hair grows from our scalp and scalp massages are known to actually cause your hair to grow thicker and also to grow longer because it increases the blood flow to that area providing it with you know your follicle with all the nutrients that it needs in order to stay healthy and for your hair to grow so definitely make sure that you know if you're using this oil that you're incorporating massages as well now i'm going to go ahead and just you know comb that through and then um 
then twist it pretty much and then i'll do that for the rest of my hair now i did not include the whole uh, clip of me doing my hair here because otherwise this video was going to be really long um, but you don't necessarily need to apply this to your hair this way even if your hair is dry if you've got braids on convos i don't know like anything you can just apply this directly to your scalp and massage that in um because it will certainly um give your hair all the benefits that you need so yeah you're special and you're reckless Remember you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl, you can spend it oh. And everything is alright I like how you're doing alright, alright Like how you think alright so guys i'll suggest you use this oil twice or three times a week consistently now consistency is everything when it comes to your hair actually like anything in general you need to be consistent to be able to see results now if you use something once you know uh, you probably won't be able to see the results compared to perhaps if you use it every day over a certain period of time so i definitely suggest that you stay consistent with this and you will certainly see uh, results in your hair growth because this oil is just yeah like i said it's just so packed with all the goodness that our hair definitely needs in order to grow so if you use it the right way and consistently you will certainly um reap the benefits so this is it for me today guys thank you so much for watching as always if you like the video don't forget to thumbs up share it with your friend your family that you think can benefit from this and subscribe if you're not already and I'll catch you in my next video that will be very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.